Hello researchers, I am Sir Vince, no one of the research specialists from the research department here at Unido Christian Colleges. Today I'm going to talk to you about the methods or the methodology part of your research proposal and I'm also going to give you a rundown of its various parts. Let's begin. Before we discuss any of its parts, let us define first what is the methodology part of your paper. So this is a section in which you will have to discuss the various step-by-step uh, -step processes as well as the various methodologies and procedures that you will use for your research study. The first part under it is the research design. So under research design, you have to discuss there the specific design or flow that you are going to use in your paper. Since we will be tackling about quantitative research, we have four quantitative research designs. We have descriptive, correlational, causal comparative, and experimental. So you have to choose from those four. So discuss it, define what it is, and then state why you have chosen that to be the research design of your study. Next is the conceptual framework. The conceptual framework contains the diagram as well as a short narrative that will explain the flow of your study. It will also showcase the variables in your study as well as the theory that you have established in your theoretical framework. Just a reminder for these researchers, before you construct the diagram for this, you have to establish first a theory in your theoretical framework. Next, we have the definition of terms. So some reminders for this. When you define terminologies here, you have to use operational definitions. When we say operational definitions, this is how that term is used in your study. Do not, under any circumstances, use dictionary definitions. And also, another reminder for this, do not define obvious words. These are words that you no longer need a dictionary for you to get the meaning of. That is followed by the research instrument. So for this part, you have to discuss the components of your research instrument. What exactly will it contain? Will the respondent have to write his name on it? Does the respondent have to write his age, sex? Okay, if the instrument is divided into two parts, what are the components of part one? What are the components of part two? So everything that your research instrument contains, you have to discuss that there in that part. Do not, under any circumstances, post there the actual instrument. That is a common mistake being done by researchers. The actual instrument itself will be on a separate sheet or it will be on a separate document. After that, we have the research respondents. For this part, you have to discuss who are the people involved in your study. Who are the people who will participate in your research? Who are these people who will answer your survey forms? Aside from that, you have to explain as well, why did you choose these people? What's with them? Okay, what makes them qualified for your study? Next, we have the procedure, or we call this the data gathering procedure. So the keywords for this is step-by-step -step process. So for this part, you have to discuss all of the steps that you will have to undergo in your data gathering. What part did, at what part did you start in your data gathering process? Okay, followed by the next step, so on and so forth, up until the last step. And the last part for the methods or methodology part of your paper, we have the data analysis. So for the data analysis, you have to discuss here all of the statistical formulas that you will use in your study. So state there the formula itself, and then define what that formula is, and then you have to discuss as well the purpose of that formula in your study. Alright, so that is all the time that we have for today. Okay, thank you so much researchers for joining me in this video. Once again, this is Sir Vince, one of the research specialists from the research department at Unido Christian Colleges, where we provide excellence, service, and integrity. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers!